my loves. I hope you're all safe and well. So, some of you guys may have noticed that I took a little bit of time off social media the past kind of week and a half, especially YouTube. This is the first time ever that I've missed three upload days, so it feels like kind of a big deal to me. I felt like it would be really wrong and weird to just come back with a normal video and act like everything is fine because one thing I can't do is act. Um, I can't pretend to feel a certain way when I don't feel that way. So I thought the best video to kind of not come back with because I've been gone for a week and a half, like it's hardly a long time, but I just wanted to create a sit down video that that is just a little life update, I guess. Just to update you all on a few little things that are currently happening behind the scenes in my life, things that I don't really talk about that much. Um, but yeah, I just felt like I owed it to you just to come on and speak about a few things that have been happening. So first things first, the most important part of this entire video is I'm actually going to be donating the AdSense money from this video. So please watch all of the ads all the way through. That can be your kind of way of donating if you haven't already. But I'm going to be donating that money to the George Floyd um, Memorial, which I'll pop a link to in the description box below. I'll also pop a link to the petition, it's so important that you sign it. We can really make a difference at this time and this is the first video that I've posted since all of that terrible, heartbreaking stuff happened so obviously I wanted to do my bit and yeah, please make sure you watch all of the ads if you are unaware of what's happened or you would like to educate yourself like I did. I'm going to be completely honest. I feel like I know a lot more now about everything after reading some really useful things that I found so I'll link those below as well but yeah I just wanted to let you guys know that all of the money made from this video will be donated. So I was umming and ahhing about making this video because my problems seem quite minuscule compared to everything going on in the world right now and I think naturally it can sometimes really put that into perspective if you think you've got a lot of problems and then you look at the world and you're like, I'm so lucky to be where I am. But that being said, I think it's very important to recognise if you're feeling a certain way, it's important to talk about it. And like I said, I can't just post my normal videos without addressing things that are going on in my life. Um, and the reason I took a little bit of time off, like I've never missed an upload day. I'm very, very funny about it. I hate letting you guys down. I have upload days for a reason because I like to keep to routine and I know as well, if I take time away from my job, that I really just need to take a bit of a break because usually when other parts of my life are a little bit up in the air or I'm feeling upset, the one place that I know that I can come to where I'm going to feel better is YouTube. And I know that might sound crazy to some people, but YouTube is genuinely my escape. When I can create content, post it and connect with you guys, it, it lifts me. But the past week I've been in such a bad place, I have not even felt like I could film. I sat down and tried to film a big B&M haul which will be coming next week and I just couldn't. I couldn't get my words out, I just, I felt like a shell of a person, which sounds weird to admit, but that's just how I felt this past week. So, I have an awful lot going on in my life right now that I don't really speak about on the internet um, for a few reasons which I'll go into in a moment. I think a lot of people assumed that, obviously I had a break in just over a week ago, I think a lot of people assumed that I had to take off a bit of time to deal with that and as much as that was really really hard and it was just a bizarre whole experience it wasn't really that that was bringing me my sadness that was almost like the tipping point for me I was already dealing with a lot before that happened and I think the only place that I truly felt safe and felt at peace and happy and was my little sanctuary was my home so for that to kind of be broken into and taken away from me it kind of just left me feeling so unsettled and kind of opened up a lot of feeling that I have for things that I don't think I deal with very well 
I am one of those people that bottles emotion up. If I am really upset about something, I push it to the back of my mind and I try and be positive, I try and keep myself busy, I try and distract myself because I don't want to let myself fall into that downward spiral, which I definitely went on the downward spiral last week, like I was on the roller coaster down. And I was scared last week that I wasn't gonna get out of that dark period of my life for a very long time. When I tell people this, people seem very surprised. Um, for example, my sister read my Instagram post that I put up saying that I felt like I'd hit rock bottom and she had no idea. Like, I'm very, very good at hiding when I feel upset. Um, I think it's just something that I've done over the years and it's, it's my way of coping. So yeah, the break-in was just kind of a little bit of, it just pushed me over the edge. It pushed me over the edge to that kind of cliff down, cliff downward spiral <laughs> um okay i feel very uncomfortable talking about this topic like i feel itchy uncomfortable because i i just this isn't something i i like talking about because uh, it makes it feel so much more real and the reason i don't speak about it a lot on my channel is because it's not my information to tell but it has a huge impact on my life can't speak. It has such a huge impact on me that I, I just feel like it's the time that I really need to speak about this. So I have mentioned very, very briefly in the past that my dad isn't well. Um, he hasn't been well for a few years now. And the last time I spoke about this was actually in a vlog. So around Christmas time, my dad was having treatment for his throat cancer. And he was going through radio that was such a hard time in my life because watching someone you love be in pain and having absolutely no control over that is one of the hardest things I will probably ever have to go through in my life. Um, so he had his radio around Christmas and he was given the all clear which was just such a surreal moment it was amazing and all of that fear of losing my dad kind of left my body and it was just an it was such amazing news it was such amazing news um recently it's come to light that it's actually back and it's spread um I promised myself I would not cry in this video because I don't want to cry. So finding out the news that it was back was just heartbreaking and it, this sounds so strange and I've been dealing with this for years but I feel like it's only now kind of hit me and I think because it's such it messes with your head so much like you're told one minute it's gone it's back it's gone it's back and I just feel so helpless for him and that breaks my heart like it's so heartbreaking to watch someone that you love so much be in pain and it it is absolutely soul destroying to see someone become less like them anymore but it's just so hard, it's so hard. And I feel like my years of bottling this emotion up just hit me last week. I think after the break-in that was just the tipping point for me. And last week, I'm gonna go ahead and say was the worst week of my entire life. I just felt like I had no control of my life. I felt alone, I felt I genuinely just thought I can't I can't deal with this I, I can't and it was so hard so oh, I don't even know what I'm saying is making sense I just feel like I'm saying a load of words so at the moment I am trying to see my dad every single day luckily he lives really really close to me he has a huge allotment so I can go and visit him and sit with him 
of course two meters apart because he's so vulnerable and I'm just so grateful that I can see him but at the same time it's the hardest thing because when you come away from that when you come away from every day going to visit him and not knowing what he's going to be like and it's so emotionally draining I feel like I just have no none of me left I feel like every ounce of me every ounce of my energy is used on that and I felt like I needed to speak about this in a video because if for any reason I am flaky with uploads or I might not seem like myself in uploads or anything like that I just kind of wanted to give you guys a bit of an explanation because you've been there for me through everything in my life since I've been in YouTube and it would be just really weird for me to keep this from you so that's what's going on in my life at the moment um, and I just feel very um, I'm very scared for the next few months and I think as much as you prepare yourself for something I don't know, I don't think you can prepare yourself. Oh, I'm so hot as well, I'm literally sweating. Oh God. So taking a week off social media and taking the pressure off myself to upload helped me. But I, I feel like it also made me feel worse because I felt like I didn't have a purpose. Um, YouTube to me is everything, like everything. And I can sit here and say I don't know where I'd be without having this as my job because it, it does it it saves me from staying at rock bottom um so yeah thank you to you guys as always for i know as soon as i post this video i will feel so much better because i know that at the moment i feel like i'm hiding something and i hate that feeling i feel like i'm hiding such a huge part of my my life from you because that is huge so yeah I just wanted to kind of go into that um, I wish I could sit here and tell anyone in the same kind of situation as me how to deal with it but I don't know how to deal with it like I'm gonna be honest I'm not dealing with it very well at the moment <sighs> oh, and I never speak about this to anyone like I don't even really talk to this with my friends and family because I feel like at this time it's so important to try and be strong for everyone else and try and keep positive but it's just so hard and I think I just feel like the world is falling apart a little bit at the moment like just with everything with obviously coronavirus with all of the awful things happening in America like it's just it feels a little bit too much you know I just want to say as well if you're feeling any kind of way if you're just feeling down for absolutely no reason please don't compare your problems to other people's everyone has you know everyone has their own biggest problem in their life and I think I gave myself such a hard time for feeling as bad as I did because I'm very lucky in a sense. I still get to see my dad every single day. I have so many things in my life that I'm so grateful for that I felt bad for feeling upset. And that's actually so crazy when you think of it. So I just don't want anyone else to feel like that. Everyone's feelings are so valid. If you feel a certain way, you are allowed to feel that way. And if anyone makes you feel like you are not allowed to feel upset or angry or any emotion you want to feel that's not okay so yeah I feel good that I've got this off my chest um, because I felt like it was a it it would have been so weird for me to film videos and not tell you guys this because I don't feel like me at the moment and I can't pretend to be really happy at the moment so if for any reason in my videos I seem a little bit not like me, it's just because I've got 
so much to think about right now, so much to deal with, so much emotion and I don't know, it's just it's just a very strange time in my life. Um but yeah, that is gonna go ahead and conclude this video. I'm sorry if this video was depressing to watch. I worry about that as well. I worry that I don't want to talk about my problems because I don't want anyone to watch my videos and feel worse because I know that right now it's such a strange time where we need to be positive and uplifting and I want to be there for you guys and make you feel better and produce content that you're going to watch and feel good after watching it and the last thing I want to do is be an energy vampire and you watch my videos and feel worse like that 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 does not sit well with me at all so yeah I just wanted to say sorry for kind of dropping off the radar thank you so much for all of your messages and concern about where I went like I'm never just going to disappear I will never be gone for long I'll always be back I just needed a week just to do you know what get my emotions out I feel like I pushed so much to the back of my head that it, it gets to a point it almost felt like they were just like flooding my brain and then it just exploded and I just couldn't cope with that amount of emotion um but I'm feeling lots better this week um in myself so I'm looking forward to just getting back into normal uploads now speaking to you guys on the regs and yeah oh <sighs> So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for always being there. Thank you for letting me have my time and understanding as always. You guys will never know how much you truly mean to me and yeah, just please be safe. Try and be happy and yeah. Um, please don't forget to sign the petition which I'm gonna link below. It's really, really important that you do so. Like I said, I will link some documents that have helped me really understand it a lot more um and yeah like i said all of the money made from this video will be donated so yes i feel like i'm kind of doing my little bit in a way even though i feel like i want to do so much more i don't really know how so yeah i love you guys so much thank you so much for everything and i shall see you in my next video